Hello, and welcome to today's edition of Cooking with Dr. Fred. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually cook for you the, the meal I'm going to be having tonight. Um, with a little bit of a twist, because I never actually thought about this twist before. So what it's going to be is going to be a pork tenderloin. Um, a lot of people are afraid to cook that uh, piece of the pork because it is very it cooks very quickly and it can, be, can become dry very, very easily. Um, the pork tenderloin is just like uh, a tenderloin or filet mignon of the steak, only this would be of pork. So it's the same thing, it's delicious, it's super easy, super, super easy. And I'm gonna make you creamed spinach. Um, creamed spinach is very interesting because um, it's gonna be my version of a steakhouse cream spinach, which used to be one of my favorite things way back when, maybe 25 or 30 years ago, before I knew any better. Um, but most of those cream spinaches you will get in, um, in a steakhouse, once the steakhouse is reopened fully, um, unless you're eating outdoors, uh, then you will be able to, um, this will be the same thing, only better, because all of them have flour in it, and this one will not have flour and will be just as good. So while we're waiting to preheat the oven, uh, the oven is preheated to broil at 550. While we're doing that, what we're gonna do is make the cream spinach. So let's get started with that. Now, as you know, everything I like to do has to have some sort of health benefit to it. So spinach, as you know, is high in vitamin K, it's high in uh, antioxidants, it's high in B vitamins, it's a dark green leafy vegetable. That's kind of what you like. So mine is organic and triple wash, but I don't ever believe anything that comes in a package. Um, like this. So again, I, I didn't buy this. The, the shopper at the grocery store did. So we will uh, wash it first because that is of utmost importance. So it's always kind of nice when you have uh, ingredients, especially if you have ingredients at home, that you can easily make into something healthy. So ignore the fact that I opened that up tonight. Um, so I'm just going to throw the spinach in here. Now remember, when you're cooking spinach, if this, this, this looks like a lot of spinach, it will wilt down to almost nothing. So let me, uh, let me throw that under the water in a minute. Sorry you can't see the sink. Um, then what we're going to do, I usually use a cast iron skillet for something like this. It's just easier. So we're gonna put about two tablespoons of butter in there. Uh, the reason I like using butter in this is because butter has a very high smoke point um, and we're gonna be, and it also creates thickness, um, whereas other fats will not. Butter will create thickness, uh, which is nice because we're gonna want this to thicken up just like you would if you were at your favorite steakhouse or wherever you get your favorite cream spinach, uh, cream spinach from. So let's turn this on. We'll turn this on nice and low. I hate when the oven, when this, the oven, this, the stove top does that. We'll turn it on nice and low while we're cleaning the spinach. How they can keep it in that bag though is beyond me, um, where it doesn't go bad. Um, maybe just the technology, I don't understand, who knows. But um, it just doesn't seem right. Anyway, all right, oops. Why can't I get this to sit right? Oh, this one's special. It's got to sit in a very little particular spot or it won't work. All right, so we're just going to do this so that it dries out. We'll leave that there for a second. I'm going to turn the heat up on this now that I can watch it again. You probably will not need salt for this recipe because there's enough salt in the cheese that I'm going to put in it that you probably will not need, uh, need much salt. You can add it if you want. You know what a big proponent I am of salt. We're going to need a lid for this at some point. Um, so what I'm going to do is after we do this, I'm going to put toss the spinach into the frying pan um, with the butter. Then I'm going to put the cover on it and just let the butter, um, let the spinach cook. And then I don't know why I should get this. We need this. I like using a good wooden, a wooden spoon for uh, stirring it around. And then I'm going to just add heavy cream after I do this, some Parmesan cheese. And this is the new twist. 
I'm gonna add organic flaxseed, ground flaxseed to it. It's got omega-3s in it, it's got, a, um, it's got ALA in it, it's a really good source of ALA, which is something we often don't put in our diet. So having ALA in our diet, and this is, 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 is very helpful, helpful for our heart, it's one of our heart healthy fats. So if we use, I figured, so that's what I've been starting to do, putting flaxseed into everything I could think of um, doing. And that's all it takes for this. So let's see how this butter is doing. You don't need to put the cover on it. I was just being lazy and I don't have enough of a surface because the camera has more angle here, which is not right, but I'm not a cameraman, folks. So there you go. So that's two tablespoons of butter. Now we, now you can turn up the heat a little bit so that it's, that will cook. I'm um, sort of medium high at this point. And all I'm gonna do is take the spinach and put it in here and you'll see. Now that looks like a lot of spinach, right? I hope you can see from there. Um, I mean, it's overflowing. But you'll see in just a minute how soft, how small this amount of spinach becomes. So I'll just put our cover on that. Let it melt a little, let it do its thing. And then, you know what? This is gonna take a minute or two to cook before I do the next part. So I'm gonna ask you to just stay there and I'll be right back. Move, move, move. Hi, I'm back with Cooking with Dr. Fred. So in that meantime, I had, I had a chance to feed Remington while I'm waiting for this to happen. Um, granted, that doesn't take very much time at all since he just wolfs the food down. So see how there's hardly, I mean, look at that. The spinach has wilted down to less than half of a frying pan amount. So that's why if you're gonna make this for friends, make sure you make you get more. So now it's nice and hot, it's now nice and steamy. So now we'll pour some heavy cream in it. Again, heavy cream, you want the fat because the fat is what will make this dish come together and congeal without flour. So it just bubbles up, you just stir it so it doesn't burn. You could, lo you could lower the heat a little bit at this point if you want, but you really don't need to because this is where the magic happens. So you just, I just, uh, I don't know, what is that? Four, five, I don't know, half a cup maybe of, of Parmesan. I don't really know. It's gonna all depend on how much you are using it. And see how it just quickly congeals together. A little bit, I think I lowered the heat too much. I'm gonna turn it back up. I think this needs a little more cream. The other thing that you can put in this, which is delicious, um, and is a prebiotic as well, is um, shallots. So if you put the shallot in, what you would do is while the butter was heating, you would just put the, um, you would just put the shallot in. And uh, that would be all you need. I don't think we need a little bit more cream, but maybe just a little. We'll give it a little fun. So maybe, what did I do? Maybe four tablespoons of cream? I don't know, again, this is just, this is gonna be just fun for you to figure out on your own. So this just sort of does that, okay. And now, now, for the finishing touches, is we're gonna throw in a little flaxseed and just have that just become, or maybe what I should do is uh, just sprinkle the flaxseed over the top. So I'm putting about a tablespoon of flaxseed in there. Now remember, a tablespoon like I just used is not an exact measurement in tablespoons, if, if something called for a specific level of tablespoon is a Mmm, that smells so good. And that is that. That's how you make cream spinach. Super simple. Let me get on a, let me put it in the plate so I can show you what it looks like in the plate. I need a multicam. This is a multicam show, people. Not just one simple iPhone. Oops. Mm, look at that. Just like at your favorite steakhouse or wherever you get cream spinach from without the flour. And that's what we want. No gluten, no flour, no carbs, not in this kitchen. Okay, until next time, I'll be doing the pork recipe for you next time. I'm Dr. Fred, this is Cooking with the Dr. Fred Show.